Hi guys, today I just wanted to make a quick video because I think this tip is very helpful for everyone who's doing hyperlapse videos, especially with the giant image transmission module, you're able to absolutely do hyperlapses on easy mode. And I'm going to tell you today how this works. But first, let me explain you what my setup is. Here we have the giant Crane 2S paired with the giant image transmission module, as well as the Sony a7 III and right here you can see the phone clamp with my smartphone which by the way is linked wirelessly to this image transmission module and it helps me to get some smart features the Xion Play app offers. Basically we're using the smartphone app Xion Play to use the tracking function which is included to track subjects in the environment we're shooting. For example, in the videos, I've used the tracking function to track big buildings and walked around them and the camera kept the focus always on those subjects. One common problem with this setup is that there should be no subject in between you and your main subject, otherwise the tracking will pick up the second subject and this is not what we want. Therefore, I found this nice place, as you can see over here, we have the full view and there's not any little um, subject in between you and your main subject which allows us to get a nice circling shot around this big dude. Well guys, here are some more tips to keep in mind if you shoot hyperlapses. It's really important that you have a straight line, well a path you will walk while you record your video and you need to think about your path in advance because if it's not a linear path, like if it's not straight or if it's not perfectly circular, then it will look like a bit jittery and it won't turn out as nice as you have imagined. So I would recommend you to keep an eye on where you're going and where you're about to go before you press record for your time lapse. One more pro tip for you guys for your hyperlapses is the slower you walk, the more moving clouds you will have in your image and the more is happening in your image. And this is one tip to keep in mind if you want dynamic hyperlapses in your videos. In the end you need to speed up the whole clips because you only can record the videos in normal video mode. But that's not a big bummer because you can, you know, slow it down, increase the intensity and speed. And in the end you get a very cool hyperlapse. This is supposed to be a very short video and I hope you learned a little bit because creating hyperlapses is a very trendy thing right now, especially with the Xion Crane 2S and the image transmission module, it gives you an easy way to create those. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and if you want to see more of my content, check one of those videos out and we see us next time. Goodbye.